An RTA strike inching closer as the countdown dwindles. Drivers and technicians say they'll hit the picket line Monday. I don't think just because you ride the bus or don't ride the bus, it won't affect you. In fact, our Elise Coulter found the impact this could have on the entire Miami Valley. And if you don't ride the bus, Elise. Adam, every single day, 30,000 people de depend on the RTA to get them to where they need to be, and more than half of those depend on the RTA to get them to work. And for a local company, an agreement is critical to be reached by Monday. Now, Barry Staffing is in the heart of the city of Dayton. It staffs for several businesses, including machinery, clerical, from the city of Dayton all the way to the city of Moraine. They tell us 50% of their businesses or clients are on an RTA bus line. And 80% of those employees who work at those businesses depend on the bus to get there. In fact, they tell us they issue 70 bus vouchers every single month to their employees so that they can get to work. And the impending strike on Monday is a big concern. A work stoppage is not good for anybody. Uh, we're hoping that both sides come together quickly and get this resolved quickly so that our employees uh, don't see any disruption in service. Now, Barry Staffing told me that they've been working with the RTA for more than three decades. And when I asked if they have a backup plan in case the strike does happen on Monday, I was told they're hoping that won't happen. For now, reporting live in Miami Township, Elise Coulter, Fox 45 News. All right, Elise, thank you. Now, earlier we confronted Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley about the impending strike. She says she's hopeful a resolution will be made before Monday. But if not, she knows it'll impact more than just riders. We're talking about children who use the bus um, to go to school, uh, families to get to work, um, uh, seniors to, to get to their doctor's appointments. We've compiled a list of all the businesses you use that could be affected on our website. Click on this story in the top story section and stay with us for continuing coverage of every 